Last week, I talked about sportsmanship as a central theme of Girls and Panzer, and how it was well utilized to be a major part of the story, as I took a look at the major relevant moments from Season 1. But that's not the end of the story, and the theme of sportsmanship bears more fruit going forward in the Dare film and Das Finale. In particular, I want to take a look at how Sentinel's culture of sportsmanship serves to help everyone become better at the sport, thereby improving everyone's experience as Sentinel competitors. Obviously, spoilers ahead, and I'll keep on encouraging anyone who hasn't already done so to watch all of Girls in Panzer before watching this video. So, during Season 1, we already saw some of the results of this culture of sportsmanship. Mainly, with teams all right befriended after their matches coming to root for them throughout the tournament. As a movie should, however, their film takes it up a notch. After the fun team-up match to open the film and re-establish our characters in Senshiro itself, Orai had the rug pulled out from under them by the show's only true villain, the government. Not only were they going to lose their team, their school, and their home, but also their tanks, which are as much their teammates as their friends. But this is where we first see what they gain in Season 1, via the culture of sportsmanship Senshiro fosters. More than just peers who respect them, they gain friends who will stick with them through thick and thin. It's definitely not a coincidence that it's the members of Saunders, the team who really spelled out the sportsmanship ethos the show has lived by, well, K at least, that comes flying to the rescue of the tanks. Them carrying out that operation can't have been easy, especially since it was, probably, more than a little illicit, but they did so in a heartbeat. And what do they ask in return? Only that Ororai's team continues with Senshiro. That's what brought them together, after all. It shows how much they value Ororai as peers in their sport, and they'll do whatever is needed to keep them in the game. Of course, a bit later we also see, on a larger scale, the true friendships they've gained via Senshiro when everyone they've competed with, plus Mika and her gang, come running to the rescue. Again, this was no simple matter. There would be a logistics of short-term school transfers, plus bringing the tanks. Not a cheap or simple thing to do. But, along with helping because of their friendship with Orai, they all could see the preposterously unfair match that Orai was being forced into. Their strong belief in the sportsmanship of Senshiro absolutely also played a role and everyone deciding to come help and make it an even fight. And again, at least part of this comes down to them not wanting to see a valued peer forced to stop competing. Sentinel losing Ori would hurt the sport, and they care too much about it to let that happen. Don't worry, I've got plenty to say about their film on its own. We'll get there eventually. One other aspect of good sportsmanship and the respect between competitors is that it fosters a mutual desire by everyone involved to up their game to learn from each other. The biggest example of this is, of course, Chiatan. Their time spent with Orai during their film, and especially Duck Team's collaboration with them, Fukuda in particular, during that match, opened up a new world for them. Remember also that Nishi specifically thanked Orai after the Dare film match. That wasn't just something she did out of politeness, though I'm sure that was part of it. She was thankful for what she learned during the match. While they, of course, still frame pretty much everything with the language of a charge, Chiatan started to utilize new tactics that made them a much better team. This came through Ori setting a good example and helping to foster this positive climate where everyone learns from everybody else. In other settings, teams might not be so willing to share advice with people they'll be competing with. This is completely understandable and normal. What if these new tools we give them enables them to beat us next time we face off? This is what almost happened to Ori during their match with Chiatan. But despite it being a tough match, the only feelings they really express toward this new development are positive. They're impressed at how much Chiatan improved and Duck Team in particular is part of what Fukuda has managed to bring to her team. Everyone prefers to win in competitive sports, but people who also compete in a sport because they just enjoy it want everyone else to do their best. You want to compete against other people at their peak. That's part of the fun and the challenge. Plus, is how to actually tell who's the best. To again reference my sport of choice, Ninja Warrior, people are always helping each other out and providing advice, even when it's to people who they know they might be competing against. Competitors on the sidelines even sometimes shout encouragement and advice to whoever's on the course at the time, even when there are only a few spots to move on to the next round. Part of this is because Ninja is primarily an athlete versus the obstacles course, but also because it's just part of the sport's culture. We all enjoy seeing other people do cool stuff, almost as much as we enjoy doing the cool stuff ourselves. It's a similar story in Senshiro. One of the themes in Das Finale, which I'll talk about in more depth another time, is about the positive impact Orai Senshiro has had on everyone around them. Orai came in and upended things in a way, but they also demonstrated new ways to do things, and thus, along with earning the respect of their competition, they gave many the push they needed to improve themselves and start thinking outside the box. 
It's not by accident that, in the snippets of their battles we see in Das Finale, Anzio, Pravda, and Koromorimine have definitely evolved somewhat. And the fact that Maho, who despite so clearly understanding the sportsmanship and ethos of Senshiro, was very much locked into one way of doing things, is telling Erika to now find her own Senshiro speaks volumes. Yes, winning matters, and tried and true tactics and techniques are tried and true for a reason. But that's not all there is to it. Enjoying your time participating in the sport, and enjoying the community within, is at least as important, if not more so. Making that more of a focus, instead of turning the sport into a cutthroat, win-at-all-costs thing, is more likely to keep it fun and help it grow. And while Ori's goal in Das Finale is, obviously, to win, there is a reason we've gotten noticeably more time spent on character interactions, especially Dokim and Fukuda and Miho and Alice, two people who also met first as adversaries but became close friends. Like them, we're not just here to see our favorites win. We're here because Senshiro is awesome and we love watching it. Real life Senshiro went. Japan, we're waiting. It's stuff like this that has really caused Girls on Panzer to stick with me as much as it has. I've never been big into sports stories, anime or otherwise, and not a huge amount of shows, even if I enjoy them, regularly call me back to rewatch them. Girls on Panzer does that, and it's why it still holds the number one spot on my favorite anime list, and why it's the show I wanted to spend most of my time talking about on this channel. Between the positive, uplifting themes, the attention to detail, and the excellent writing in general, I never get tired of it. I'm glad all of you seem to feel similarly. We're closing in now on the big 1,000 subscriber milestone. I'm planning to do a celebratory live stream when that happens, and I've got an idea or two of what to do for that. The sooner we get there, the sooner you'll get to see that. If you enjoyed this video and like to support the channel, links to my books and light novels are below in the description. Additionally, check out my Patreon. Among other rewards, such as early looks at new updates for my mecha serial, my light novels, and more, including a very special project I'll be formally announcing here later this month, you'll get to see future videos early. I've also got a merch store now over on TeePublic, so give that a look too. And of course, if you have any thoughts on this video, or aspects of Girls on Panzer you'd like me to talk about, definitely share them below in the comments. I'd love to hear them, and I do my best to read and respond to all the comments eventually. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. That's all for now, so until next time.